Hey everybody, Michael Snyder here, Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is March 21st, and right now we are looking at a visible satellite imagery here across Oregon, Washington, B.C., Idaho, and a little bit of Montana there. You can see the nice mountain peaks snow covered out there. Some high clouds around. There is some fog around the area as well. Some very light precipitation across the region should be wrapping up today, but just thought I'd show you guys the nice visible satellite imagery. Should be a fairly nice day today and tomorrow across much of the region, but you can see some of that fog fog down here through the Willamette Valley as well. So hopefully that'll burn off for you today. This is like a National Weather Service Spokane talking about that next system arriving as we go through Thursday, Friday. You can see Highway 9, I-90, Highway 2, Lookout Pass there through Idaho as well. Some mountain pass snow incoming here. This is Seattle yesterday, a little bit above average, had a little bit of rain, 14 hundredths of an inch, but we may get up towards average again today and probably up towards 60 degrees on Wednesday coming up here. So yeah, a little bit of a warmer period here versus what we had the first half of the month, but we are going to drop down below normal again here as we go towards the end of the week. This is looking at 500 millibars, somewhere up towards 18,000 feet. You see BC Washington put it into motion, and you can see the next tongue of cold air as it makes its way in during the day Thursday across the Pacific Northwest. Nice trough carving out here. Some lower snow levels showing up here as well. You know, at this time of year, it's really hard to get accumulating snowfall down towards sea level here, but some of the higher hills could see some flakes flying west of the Cascades. We'll check that out in a little bit more detail as we go through the next couple of days. This this is for the European last night. This is precipitation, sea level pressure, the monster storm down through California here, showers wrapping up across Washington, Oregon. Look at Wednesday, another nice day, but some of the models are hinting at some shower activity as we go through Wednesday evening here across western Oregon, Washington. So we'll watch that as we go on in through tomorrow. Also, stronger system starts to arrive as we go through Thursday. You can see some of those lower snow levels showing up there as we go through Friday here. Some mountain snows as well. Yeah, so we're going to get cooler here as this trough is going to set up shop here across the Pacific Northwest. This is looking at convective available potential energy. We do have a bit of a thunderstorm threat here coming up. Now here we go. Let's speed ahead. Actually, let's reset this. I started in the wrong spot here. So here we go. There's that system moving into California here, but you can see our next system rolling across the Gulf of Alaska, bringing that unstable air with the colder air aloft into the region here as we go. So we'll watch out for this. We'll pay a little bit more attention to this tomorrow and try to fine tune some of these details on what areas could see a lightning strike or two across Pacific Northwest. Here we're looking at 700 millibars, somewhere up towards 10,000 feet. You see that big storm off the coast of California here, leaving us in the wake across Pacific Northwest. But look at, we've got our own batch of cold air moving down into the region here as we go on in through Thursday and Friday. You can clearly see it showing up here on the UW model. Here we're looking at the European as of last night. This is a little bit closer view of things here. So as we go through the day Wednesday, you notice some of these showers start to pop up and start to impact Oregon, Washington, as that snow starts flying here by the time we get towards Thursday morning. So you could get some winter driving conditions across some of the mountain passes by then. This will eventually spread east, including the Blue Mountains. And we're going to continue to build up some of the snow here as we go through Thursday night into Friday as well. Possible convergent zone activity and, again, a little bit of a lower snow levels associated with this as we go through the weekend. We'll look at this in more detail in the next couple of days. This is looking at composite reflectivity. The NAM, just a few light showers around, should be wrapping up for the most part today. Some of this activity from the California storm will clip portions of southeast Oregon, Idaho, mainly eastern Idaho, and a little bit of Montana, maybe the extreme southern portions there. But as we go on and through Wednesday, the NAM is showing a little bit of shower activity popping up here as well for Western Washington. There could be a lightning strike potential with this also. We'll watch that as we go. And then you can see the next system arriving as we go through the day Thursday. Frontal system moving through the area as the cold air aloft arrives. This is looking at six hour, two meter maximum temperature. So this would be surface temperature. Let's see what's coming today. You can see not a bad day shaping up. Look at the Willamette Valley, possibly up towards the 60 degree mark here. Same with Eastern Washington. A little bit chillier, but you know, Pacific, uh, Pacific Northwest getting up towards the mid 50s is not bad for this time of year. That's about average here, all the way up through Southwest BC. Cool down overnight, and then look at tomorrow. Maybe Seattle up towards 60 degrees as we go. Portland again, maybe mid or lower 60s, I should say, and maybe some lower 60s showing up across eastern Oregon, Washington for the lower elevations also. But if you notice, the higher terrains are still pretty chilly this time of year.
Now, as we go on into Thursday, though, look at this. Here comes the cool down. Maybe not getting out of the 40s here for western Washington and western Oregon. One more fairly warm day here for portions of eastern Washington, but then the cold air starts really coming in here by the time we get into Friday. So, yeah, enjoy these couple days coming up here, folks, because Thursday and Friday are going to be noticeably cooler. Looking at Portland, you can see uh, today and tomorrow highlighted there, and then the cool down coming. Same thing for Seattle here. This is total snow as of last night's European run here, and I'm just going to throw this into motion here. This goes out 90 hours, but you can see we're going to build up some snow across the Cascades. Washington, Oregon, a little bit of snowfall trying to show up here in some of these runs. I wouldn't expect any kind of disruptive snowfall falling down towards the lower elevation. Some of the higher hills could get a little bit as we go up towards you know later on and through this week again we'll look at that in a little bit more detail tomorrow this is looking at things currently this is last yesterday afternoon's european run this is going to look out to the extended a bit here so there goes that california storm then the next trough into the pacific northwest here hangs out on the west coast another system looks like it's going to go past us and maybe target california a little bit more here but then looks like we have additional systems coming down out of the north here keeping us cool as we go through later march on in through early april here and you kind of see this pattern showing up here in the extended european as we got this ridging across the Aleutians, this north-northwest flow, bringing the colder conditions down across Pacific Northwest here. So yeah, we might remain below average here through early April. We'll see how this trends. This is a 6 to 10 day temperature outlook. Bullseye on the west coast here. This goes through March 30th. 6 to 10 day precipitation. Actually, Bullseye, California there. A little bit above average for uh, Oregon showing up there through the end of March. 8 to 14 day again. Below average signal there for much of the west. And this is looking, I talked about this a little bit yesterday. This is looking at the precipitation departure from average in inches. And you can see the cascades are kind of abnormally dry here. Likely some drought concerns coming up here. And this does not bode well for fire season coming up here folks so hopefully we can continue to bring some precipitation across some of the cascades of washington oregon here so we do not have to deal with increased fire concerns as we go through the summer months coming up but anyway yeah get out there and enjoy the day today and tomorrow because we are going to cool down thursday friday lower snow levels across the region chance of a thunderstorm and a good old-fashioned trough coming for the pacific northwest here as we go through the weekend coming up looks like we might remain active as we go through the extended as well we'll watch those systems come in one by one but anyway hope you guys are having a good day click like subscribe if you want a weather station look down below in the description highly recommend it it's a nice affordable option very accurate and yeah so we'll do this again tomorrow um get out there enjoy that weather and we'll talk again tomorrow